Hey, it's Scott Owen at Cruise Consulting, and today I'm talking about the advantages of convertible debt. And convertible debt is one of the two main kind of pieces of funding paperwork in angel investing. It's either convertible debt uh, or notes, as sometimes people call them, or a safe note. And today we're talking about convertible debt. So the one, number one, is it postpones the valuation discussion till later. Oftentimes the companies are raising a seed round or extension round. They're still in kind of like a murky stage. Like it's unclear whether the company is going to be, you know, humongous and they've got product market fit or if they're still trying to figure it out. And so the valuation uh, under those circumstances can be vastly different. Like if the company's got product market fit, it's going to have a huge valuation. And so it's kind of in everyone's best interest to postpone that valuation discussion till later. So that's number one. Number two, they actually make deals close faster because there's just a lot less paperwork. It's much easier to sign a convertible note, wire in the money, and you're done. There's a lot less legal commenting on something on a convertible note versus like a preferred round, full-fledged preferred round. So that's really nice. Um, lower legal costs because the documentation is so much easier is, is also nice. Um, it, this is one from the startup perspective, just less investor control. Um, the investors don't necessarily have voting rights and thing in, in veto rights, the ability to like veto an acquisition or something like that with convertible notes. Now, with that said, always remember that investors are going to, you know, they're going to flex their muscles uh, and exert control really almost always when you need more money. So investors are kind of in this tough situation where they put money in a company, they have to watch it execute and only when the company really kind of needs their money do they really really have a strong voice because they have some leverage at that moment so even though kind of documentation or legally there's not as much investor control you should always be friendly you should always keep your investors updated you always want them on your side uh, because you never know when you're going to need them and i can guarantee you you're going to need them at some point it just happens uh the next one is um, it's easier to do multiple closes when you have a note and you can even change the valuation or cap on the note. So sometimes um, it's smart to start with a low cap and move that cap up or maybe you've done your kind of convertible note round that you really want to do and you know hypothetically you set the note at like a $20 million valuation and then you're just wrapping up and a giant bluebird comes in it says they want to give you another million million dollars. Well, the dilution on a million dollars at a $20 million valuation, that's kind of a lot. So you can go back to them and say like, you know what, I'll open up another note, higher valuation, higher cap. Is that interesting to you? So the note structure actually gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, and then finally, when you're doing like a series A or series B extension round, sometimes this is a bridge, although bridges are typically kind of um, are a negative, a negative label. Like investors usually don't want to do a bridge because it means the company didn't hit their milestones and do whatever needed to be, uh, be done to raise an outside round. But extension rounds are very, very popular right now. It's because, um, the board, the manager team can all see that whatever they're doing is working. They just might need six more months of data to be able to show it to the outside investors. And so you see companies doing the extension rounds. Well, guess what? A convertible note is the exact right piece of paper to do that extension round on. Again, all the benefits talked about postpones the valuation discussion, oftentimes cheaper, faster, easier to handle, can change the valuation in midstream. Um, so we really recommend that, that instrument for those types of situations. So I hope this helps. There's a lot to learn on convertible notes. We have a lot of information at cruiseconsulting.com. Check it out and we're always there for your questions. Thanks.